get out here a bit Shona. Yep. Um, and before we turn around and put the sails up. Here's the point. They're expecting 25 knot gust. I think they're around 3 metres consistently. But the odd ones coming through around 5 metres, it's yeah. The video camera doesn't capture just how big the seas are. What you see here looks like only one third of the true size of the waves. Yeah. I'm not happy about the sea state, so I mean we're getting the winds are up around between 15 and 20, but this sea state's pretty rough. Yeah. And those odd five metre swells that are coming through, like this one, ooh, um, they're just, we're going to be working our ass off all, all day yeah. and, and then nice. right through the night yeah. until about um, one, two o'clock, and that's when it's supposed to die down. So yeah. I think we'll just head in and wait it out. Okay, okay we're tapping now. Okay. And so we moved into a sheltered anchorage for the night, then set out again early in the morning. Leaving Sardinia take two. Conditions are certainly a lot calmer. Yeah. But well, I'm expecting it to be just a little different when we get round the point. The lighthouse has only just gone off. We're going to the Valerian.
stop at the seafood market and enjoy some paella for lunch. This artwork of old plastic toys reminded me it was going to be Gavin's 60th birthday soon, so we decided he needed a new toy. Another lesson learned today. What's that, love? If you think that oh, the yeah. rope is the slightest bit weak, change it. See, look at that. <laughs> so we just tried to head out, and we knew there was going to be swells, and the motor was just too heavy on the back. The red rope that he hoists the dinghy up onto the deck with. I managed to lean over and use the boat hook and grab it in the first go, thank goodness. Once we got close to the boat, dodging the channel starboard marker. channel marker. Gavin's going to fix it and we'll do take two. This could be a little bit stronger. That's what happened. Yeah. Lesson learned. The good broke because it floated. Yes. <laughs> and that was one of the reasons I liked it on that um, on the um, on the tender because it would float and my theory was that hopefully it wouldn't float into the propellers. Uh, he's got his tighter. Yeah, I might do the same. Yeah. It keeps catching up with us because it's so little wind. It's better. Oh, and then further down is um, too shallow, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They're all on mooring buoys over here. Oh, it is full. There'll be a spot for us. It was very pretty, it was very nice very small marina which we could have fitted into but there wasn't a lot else here except for a very good anchorage. Yeah. So after a couple of nights we decided to move on.
coastal defence tower built by the British in the early 19th century to guard the entrance to Fornells Harbour. These watchtowers controlled the local area and were usually occupied by a small garrison of men ready to repel a potential enemy invasion. This truncated cone-shaped tower is one of the largest of its kind on the island and was built from stone and mortar, while the outer walls are reinforced with blocks of sandstone. The original entrance door was on the first floor and was reached by a wooden ladder that could be pulled up in the event of an attack. has a water tank, storage for weapons, ammunition and food, a floor that housed the garrison and an artillery platform. Rumour has it that whenever Spain hints to England at getting Gibraltar back, the Brits hint that the Balearics and Menorca could be part of such a deal. And suddenly all goes quiet again. So we're getting power to the um, to the uh, starter panel, but the button's not working itself. It's an enclosed unit, so I can't cross the wires over there and make it start. So what I'm having to do is to go in here on the solenoid and we'll push on the panel the the uh, ignition, and then I'll start it from here using the solenoid. Our uh, anchor winch is stopped as well. So that's got to be done manually. Yeah. So we start the engine first. So this is the um, starter motor here and at the top of it with that big fat red wire going into it is the solenoid. And the little black wire at the back, this one, it goes to the control panel at the front of the boat. Okay Shona, yep. just 
Push it. Okay, we have sound. And we have not enough power. Okay, turn it on again. It's glowing. We have sound. motor started. Now Gavin's going to be hauling it up. Hauling up the anchor. Should have done the yoga stretches this morning. Chain. See, positives and everything. What do you need me to do? Anything? Um, well, just, just give me this ready so that I can just do that. Ah, that's good. Yeah. When I need to. Yeah. Which is what I want. And we just get the anchor up. And the ferry takes off. <laughs> and there's a big thing coming. So, pilot boats. What's he saying? Yep. Yep. Okay. And um, we need the instruments on. Sometimes they come in this way yeah, in the universe, so just keep going this way, okay? Yeah. Oh, I don't need this drama. It's going to be a stressful life. Well, it is a stressful life. I mean, it's stressless. Oh, there's tigers in the middle of the internet. Oh, man. Let's follow that ferry. Why don't we just tie a rope to that ferry and let, us, let it tow? It must be going to Mallorca, and it can tow us there. Next time on Sail About Doc Kiwi. Goodbye, Menorca. Heading for Valencia. We're about to experience something different.